If I had to say like something else that scares me, what if it doesn't work out between us? Hey baddies, what's up guys? So today I wanted to do something a little bit different and fun and I wanted to do a little girl's time if you will. So you're gonna get ready with me a little bit and we're gonna just chit chat. I'm gonna, I don't know, you know when you're like hanging out with your girls and you guys kind of just like start gossiping about life, what's going on in your life and y'all do your makeup together. That's what we're about to do right now. But before we do all of that, I just wanted to give my baddies a little message and I don't know who needs to hear this, whether it's one, two, or all of you, but you are enough, okay? You know why? Because you're a baddie in every form of the word, all right? You're beautiful enough, you're smart enough, you're kind enough, you're loving enough, you are all of that. And you're a boss on top of it all. All right, I'm gonna be doing my makeup while I fill you guys in on a crazy topic. Um, my last video says it all, all right? So my best friend confessed her love to me. In my last video, I was telling you guys about how confused I was and I didn't know what I wanted to do and all of that, but I'm here to tell you what I did and update you on how things are going. All right, let's get into the video. It's crazy, but let's go. I don't know about you, but I'm ready. I don't care if it snows. I guess I'm out of my mind. And take me back to Manhattan, back to the city where the magic happens. You wear your suit and tie, and I will wear my satin. Where all the lights are bright, and we won't even. Okay, baby. So as you can see, my edges are already laid. I did that off camera, okay? And I got the vibes going. Got a little candle burning. All right, I wanted to set the tone for y'all. All right, so in my last video, you guys probably saw that, you know, <laughs> Poor little Tink Tink was super confused, all right? I didn't know what I wanted to do. I had a lot of confusing feelings because I knew that there was something there. I knew I felt something about Easy, but I didn't know if I wanted to explore it only because like I was really just scared of losing the friendship honestly that was literally the only reason and you know after a lot of like deep conversations and thoughts and meditating and all of that I decided that I would never forgive myself if you know years went by I ended up with some wrong person and she ended up with somebody else and I just had to watch them be happy from the sideline you know <laughs> like I know I'm like I'm saying it playfully but in the moment like that's all I could think of that's literally all I could picture was her being happy with someone else and me just wishing that I would have been open-minded enough to give it a chance you know so if you guys haven't seen the compilation of videos um that spanned it over like a week it's about like five videos y'all have to check them all out like the whole series of videos like it was literally one of the most intense moments of my life. Let's just say that. Okay. <coughs> so, I don't want to, you know, give a spoiler alert, but, you know, Easy and I decided that we wanted to try things out. Like, I figured, you know, what the heck, all right? You only live once, and I'm young, so now's the time to do it. You know, and I really do love her, like, a lot. Like, I've spent every day with her pretty much in over the past three years. And I figured, all right, if we're gonna try it out, now's the time, okay? Cause we ain't getting no younger. No, we're not. You know, things are a little bit, you know, different between us. I mean, honestly, in a lot of ways, it still feels really the same. Um, you know, she's my best friend and she's always going to be my best friend. It doesn't matter if, you know, this and the honestly, like it worked out and we even got married. Like, wouldn't that be crazy? Like if we ended up getting married, <laughs> I think that would be so insane. Even if we were married, guys, Easy would still be my best friend. We are twin souls. All right, twin souls. Like she, she finishes my sentences, I finish her sentences. We know everything about each other. And I think that's such a good foundation for a romantic relationship. So that's never gonna change. But baddies, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm still in shock that we're doing this. Like we're really 
doing this guys but you know we're taking it slow and I think that that is something that I'm so appreciative of over you know when it comes to easy because she's not like rushing anything things haven't gotten like super I guess weird or serious or you know what I mean like it still just feels like best friends but I'm still nervous about like Guys, I'm still nervous about like everything, like our first kiss, going on dates, even like introducing her to like my extended family and it's just meeting her extended family. It feels good, baddies, to be able to um, vent to you guys about this, honestly, because um, I do feel like, you know, y'all are my girls and boys, like whatever, and I just feel like y'all support me so much. So if you guys have any type of advice on like how I should go about this and stuff like that, make sure you guys drop those below because I do listen to everybody and also follow me on Instagram. You guys can give me advice over there on my Twitter. I've been uh, really active on Twitter lately, so let's just chit chat, okay? I don't know where where it's gonna go from here all I know is that you know I really do love her like with all of my heart I think y'all can tell though like I don't even feel like I have to tell you guys this like easy really means everything to me um, and I think we both show it a lot in the things that we do for each other um, the way we look at each other you know, the way we talk to each other and support each other. Speaking of though, the things that we do for each other, if you guys have not seen um, Easy's birthday celebration, you guys have to go check that out, like right after you finish watching this video. <laughs> Head over to Easy It's Natalie and see Easy's epic birthday surprise because I must say I killed it, I killed it, I killed it, I killed it. Y'all let me know what you think after you go watch it. Anyway, you know, I really wanna thank you guys though for all of the overwhelming support that you have been giving Easy and I. Like, and especially me because being that this is so different for me, um, the fact that I'm trying something that I literally never in a million years would have thought that I would, um, and you guys have made me feel so much comfort in all of the kind um, comments and even letting us know how this has helped you. Um, you know, whether it be feeling confident in who you are or coming out to somebody who you're in love with, girl or guy or same sex or, you know, opposite sex, whatever the case may be. And we're blown away. Honestly, it's so touching. And I never expected that our little love story would have affected you guys in that at that capacity so i just want to say thank you guys like really from the bottom of my heart thank you for supporting and loving us the way that you have we have a lot of new supporters and that's just beautiful so welcome to the family welcome to the baddies empire or welcome to the Neezy gang uh whatever the case may be we love you and we're super excited to have you on board i'm not gonna lie though baddies i mean there's a lot that I would say that I'm excited about, but then there's also a lot that I'm scared about. Like, literally having nightmares about, you know, and then there's stuff I'm dreaming about, and I'm like, ah. like, it literally still doesn't feel real. Like, when I wake up in the morning and I'm like, um, you know, like, how are we gonna be today? You know, like, what's gonna happen today? Like. How are things going to just like continue progressing? Like, are we gonna start like sleeping together every night? You know, of course we slept together, you know, before and stuff and not like anything too intense, but like, is it going to get romantic? And when it does, am I gonna be awkward? I guess that's something I wanna tell you guys. I can be kind of awkward sometimes, I'm not gonna lie. And especially like if I'm in a situation that I've never been before. Usually my first kisses are awkward. Say I just like started talking to somebody, right? And they lean in for the kiss for the first time. I guarantee it's gonna be awkward the first time. They're probably gonna think like, I don't know how to kiss the first time. Because I usually like, my first reaction is usually like, Oh. Unless if there's like real romance behind it. You know what I'm saying? Like if I wasn't expecting it, you're gonna be able to tell, honey, I was not expecting you to do that. Hold up, I'm really didn't. I'm not ready. 
But I don't know, somehow, um, you know, I feel like, you know, maybe, maybe that won't be the case with Easy. I could always tell that if Easy was in a relationship, she would be like the most romantic and just sweet person ever. She treated me like a lot of times, like I was already her girlfriend, guys. And I don't know, maybe that's kind of a part of the reason why I kind of fell for her and didn't realize that's what was happening. But from like, the surprises and just, I don't know, the support. Like, let me tell y'all a story real quick. Like, the support was so real from the beginning. Like, I feel like Low Key Easy knew what she was doing. She swears she didn't know, but honestly, if you ask me, she knew. Oh, she knew. <laughs> I still remember this thing that happened that made me realize, like, dang, like, Easy is the sweetest person alive, you know? Um, and I was like, I'm so lucky to have her as a friend, you know? So what happened was, I was in a relationship when I first moved to LA. Um, and it was like, you know, it had been like a year that I was in a relationship. And I don't know, it was, you know what you can kind of just tell like a relationship is like coming to the end, like things just, aren't the way that it used to be. I don't know, it seems like you're starting to argue more than not. It almost feels like you're in a situationship. I don't know, it almost feels like the relationship becomes like work. You know what I'm saying? Like, it feels like, all right, this is not enjoyable anymore. Like, I don't even feel like I'm enjoying this relationship. It felt like that relationship was about to end. Anyway, I was like going through a phase where I was just arguing with him all of the time. Like, oh my God, it was so annoying. But Easy was always super supportive, guys. Like she, and her, this, mind you, this was like the beginning of our friendship. Like, not the beginning of the beginning, but this is when we first started getting really close and hanging out all the time. I don't know, she was always so supportive and I, she hated to hear that we were like arguing, you know? She always, would just try to cheer me up. I remember one time I was having a really bad day. Like, I felt like I was arguing with everyone in my life. I got into a huge argument with my boyfriend. I think I even argued with my brother over some of the stupids, like something that siblings argue over. And she knew this and how about Easy shows up to my house with champagne and lollipops and just like other snacks and stuff she was like let's hang out like let's watch a movie whatever and we did and it was just so dope like no one had ever did anything like that for me just because i was texting her telling her that i was stressed but i feel like low-key that was our way to like slide on in there so anyway baddies i don't know there's a lot that i'm actually really excited about with easy and when i look back on our stories of you know things that actually happened between us i can see why all y'all wanted us together like i don't know we really do have good chemistry i guess y'all saw it before i did though <laughs> but there are things that you know i'm really excited for you know to experience you know i feel like this is a completely new chapter of my life and then there's things that i'm a little nervous about and scared um and i guess you know since i love my baddies i'm gonna let y'all in on it a little bit it's a little bit i guess personal but you know i don't know y'all mean a lot to me so uh, you know, I just really want to start sharing more with you guys and just be honest, you know? So I guess I'll go down the list of like things that I'm most excited for first. Um, one, I'm excited that your girl is finally gonna get to go on a date. <laughs> I feel like I sound so lonely right now. But honestly guys, I have not went on like a date for at least a couple years. Like, I'm almost embarrassed to admit that to you guys. But honestly, I'm just so um, busy with like working all the time. I haven't met anyone since I've been in LA interested in going on a date with or anything. So since I've been single, I mean, it's just been me and my best friend and work and like my family and that's it. I haven't really been worried about like dating, but. Your girl started to miss it. I'm not gonna lie. She was starting to feel a little bit lonely, all right? <laughs> like. 
<laughs> a lot lonely. And I would say like another thing that I'm excited for that I think is gonna like change a lot with our you know new little dynamic us trying things out. We already loved traveling together. You know that we were each other's travel buddies. Like no matter what. If she was ready to take a trip, I was down. Don't even ask me twice, you know? Like, just book it. Actually, just book it, you know? Um, so I'm excited for, like, our new dynamic to travel together because I think it's going to be, like, even more fun because it's going to be, like, a little bit romantic, I think. Then also just, like, fun, like, traveling with your best friend, you know? I'm also a little nervous for it because we haven't been romantic yet, so I think, like, going somewhere by ourselves... <laughs> I don't know, like maybe let's go put the pressure on. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, highlight. Come on, you don't see it. Oh my god, see it. <gasps> Boom! I'm also excited for I don't know, just to get to know Easy better. Like I honestly feel like I know basically everything about her. Like I said, we're we're twin souls. Like we're literally yin and yang. Like we know everything about each other. But I think that when you know somebody on just like a innocent level i think it's a lot different the things that you're gonna learn on like a romantic level you know like i feel like she's gonna see sides of me that she's never seen before <laughs> and i'm gonna see sides of her that i've never seen before so i think that's gonna be like a fun journey you know it almost feels like you know when you first meet somebody and you're kind of like crushing on them a little bit and you're just excited and you're like oh i can't wait to learn everything about him like what or her, them or her. Ooh. What's your favorite color? You know what I'm saying? Like, oh my God, what's your favorite ice cream? Mine's strawberry. You know what I mean? Like sharing all of that stuff. Like it's super exciting. So I kind of feel like we're going to get to do that now. All right. So those are the things that I'm excited about. And then some of the things that I'm not really excited about, and I would say I'm kind of like fearing, is judgment. You know, like on a serious note, like, uh, I know that the whole world isn't as open as you guys and I kind of feel like I'm in like a safe bubble you know with my baddies and the Neezy gang and I feel like y'all love us so much already that y'all are gonna accept us no matter what you know but kind of scared to um like face the judgment of I guess the rest of the world I'm just glad that I have y'all and I have easy and I have my family because you know keeps me going and it makes me feel like I guess not as scared. If I had to say like something else that scares me, what if it doesn't work out between us, you know? Honestly, like what what does happen with our friendship if it doesn't work? Easy and I made a promise to each other that we are going to always put the friendship first and make sure that no matter what you know we walk away with a friendship if we walk away at all from like what we're exploring now but i don't know you know life happens and there's like no way to know for sure what what will happen so i guess that scares me guys like honestly also i think something that i'm not looking forward to is like our first like serious argument like what is it gonna be about Oh, we got a book sale. Speaking of book, um, if you guys have not purchased Mastering the Art of Social Media yet and you are, you know, wondering how we made it to where we are, you want to try to make it there too, go ahead and hit the link in my description and purchase that book. Super cheap, $20. Anyway, enough of that. You know, I have a hot date in the living room. I'm just kidding. I'm literally gonna just take this makeup off after I just film this. <laughs> but yeah, this is cute. What do you guys think? Go ahead, get in on the look. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed our little bit of um, girl time, tea time, boy time, whatever. All the genders are welcome on my page, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed it. And it really felt good to me to be able to, I guess I could just express myself to you guys. And I'm getting to talk to the baddies a little bit. Um, just drop some comments below. Let's keep this conversation going. What do you think about the stuff that I said? What's some advice for me? Whatever the case may be. What type of videos do you guys wanna see on my channel? I'm honestly so excited to film more stuff. 
more fashion and beauty and all of that. So definitely hit that subscribe button, turn those post notifications on, and yeah, I'm gonna see y'all baddies in the next video. Take me back to Manhattan, back to the city where the magic happens. You wear your suit and tie, and I will wear my satin. Where all the lights are bright, and we won't even make it back till 3 a.m.